Begin the current daf in Sech Musachet Daf Ayin. Begin five lines down at the top of the Yamid. The Gemara continues to explain the halacha of our previous Mishnah. Regarding the carbon Chagiga, we had mentioned we opened up the first Mishnah of this parakel in Varm that you do the carbon Pesach on Shabbos. Certain things yes, certain things not. The next Mishnah, which is our previous Mishnah discussed, that regarding Chagiga, one is not allowed to do that in the state of Tumba, and when there's a Miyut, and another one was that you cannot do it on Shabbos, that's why we discussed that. And the Mishnah in Agma discusses the halacha of the Karma Chagiga. She is close to the Kavzach and the Cheskut, the end of time, the Tav Achem. Pisham is joining us for today's Dav. Our Dav is going to discuss under which circumstances we would bring a Karma Chagiga together with the Karma Pesach, which this is the Chagiga of the Adalan. When do we bring it and when do we not, as we mentioned, that halacha in the Mishnah? Initially, that the Karma Chagiga on Erev Pesach is not a Chiyam according to one opinion. Hence, you don't bring it, like we said, if it's on Shabbos or it's Pemeruvo or State of Tumah. Then the Gemara brings in the opinion of Ben Tema that says Chagiga Abom Pesach Hareke Pesach. But there's two carbon Chagigas as we mentioned. Then on the 14th of Nisan, the 15th of Nisan, the one that's brought with the carbon Pesach is like the Pesach, and therefore in the it's not like the Halach of our Mishnah, which we're going to open up with this idea. Rather, it's for a day and a night like the carbon Pesach, and not for two days or one night. Then the Gemara brings Yehuda Ben Der Toi that he actually says Chagig Yudal is actually Dechet Sashab. And the reason why he says this day is not like the halacha of Mishnah, because he holds Chagig as your dog as a chayv, it's a beautiful karma Chagig, you have to bring it. It's not something that, as our Gemara had said, as we, from the top of the summit that we quoted in the previous daf, it's just that the common Pesach has to be nechel ala saiva, so if you, don't, if you have, uh, don't have enough meat for everyone to go around, then you have it. He holds that, no, it's an obligation, you always have to bring it. So we begin the current daf, that's Ayin number al, five months down at the top of the yamin. We have mentioned in our Mishnah that the nechelis neshne yamin bechul, that one eats the carbon pef, this carbon chagiga for two days and one night, etc. He says, The Yavara must need to look at Ben Tema. Our Mishnah is not like Ben Tema. Ben Tema, we can discuss his opinion for the uh, next half of the Yamid. Ben Tema, he says, Chagiga haboma Pesach. He says, The carbon chagiga that comes with the Pesach. The reason why we're calling it the one that comes with the Pesach because we can discuss these two different chagigas. There's the word chagigas and the word of Chag. There's one that comes on the 14th of Nisan and there's one that's born on the 15th of Nisan. The one that comes on the 14th of Nisan with the Karm Pesach, Hadei Ke Pesach, for all practical purposes, Halacha like the Karm Pesach, and therefore Me'in Nechel Esli Yemolaylo. It's only eaten for a day and a night. Now, the Chagig is Chamisha Asa, but the Chagig that comes on the 15th of Nisan, which the Gemara Chagig and the Tessam and Alphalim Dabna words, the Chagosim Oisai, because there's these three different Karbans that a person brings when he's Oilo Regal. There's the Oilo Suriya, which are common Oilo that everybody has to bring which is learned up in the Pasuk below Yerub, upon the Reikim, you shall not see my face empty-handed, says Hashem. Then there's the Shechal Shamei Chagigi, which is what we're discussing right now, which is the Chagigi's Chamisha Aser, which is the Chagigi everyone has to bring on the 15th of Nisan, which is a, uh, an obligatory carbon, which we learned from the Chagigi, so it's the Hashem. And then there's a Shalmi Simcho, which we're going to discuss also, regarding that, say, carbon Shlamim, just said, So by eating meat from any carbon he brought, there would be a Simcha, that's, you don't have to necessarily bring a Shalmi Simcha. You have to have Simcha. And the way you have it is through meat. And if you don't have any other thing, then you have to bring a Shalmi Simcha. But you could actually fulfill it with any other carbon that you bring in. So what we're discussing right now is this Shalmi Chagiga. So on that says uh, Ben Tema, that the Chagiga is Chamisha Asad, is Nechelish Neshne Yom That's eaten for two days and one night. And, and that's because it's a different carbon. It's like, it's like a Shlam, which is eaten for two days and one night. Now, Continues Ben Tima says the Chagigas are boss or the Chagigas is brought on the 14th of Nisan. If let's say you wait until the following day, you don't shaft it on the 14th of Nisan, you slaughter it on the 15th of Nisan, then Yitzabah Mishram Simcha, you will fulfill your obligation of Simcha, like we just mentioned before. There's a third carbon called a Shalme Simcha. Now, although this carbon Chagigas Yudal was already separated and designated, and Shalme Simcha is an obligation, as the Gemara says later on in the next daf. That anything that's obligatory, that's an obligation, ain't a boil of an achun, can only come from something that's unconsecrated, as the Bright is teaching this to free. It says, Vizavach, the Pesach, etc., until Tsainu Bakr. The problem is, what do we mean Tsainu Bakr? Come Pesach only comes from Kfasim, from lambs, or from goats. Why does it say Bakr? To compare whatever comes from Tsainu Bakr to the common Pesach. Just like the common Pesach is something that's obligatory and it can only come from Kulin, also whatever is obligatory. It could only come from the chul, and even that which is bakr, any type of carbon that's obligatory could only come from the chul. So how could you tell me that the shalmi simcha you'll use from your chagigas yudalid 
where it's not chulen, it was already consecrated from Erev Yom Tev, you just bring it today, how can you be Shalmei Simcha? So that's only by regular obligations. But the Shalmei Simcha, the Gemara Chagigi, that Chesem and Ach, up in the Supreme, as we mentioned this before, the Samachta comes to cool all types of Simchas. You would think even by birds and flower offerings. No, it says Bechagecha, that which the Chagiga comes from, which would exclude birds. But from here we say that a Yid would fulfill his obligation with the Nadarim, the Dovis, Whatever, even if it's something that is already obligated, it doesn't make any difference. You don't have to bring a special carbon. It's an obligation to have simcha, which if you have nothing else, you have to bring a shami simcha. But it could be from anything else. It could even be from your chagig, your dal never says ben tema. You could fulfill your obligation with shami simcha from your chagig from your dalit, but vein yitzvah b'mishum chagig. But you cannot fulfill your obligation of your chagig of the chamisha asa, which again, that's a different carbon. That's the, what we call the shami chagig that you cannot fulfill that obligation with your chagig or your dal. As we explained, because anything that's a chayv is obligation could only come from the chul, in other words, from his own, and not what is already obligated. And this chagig is your dal, even if you hold that, you don't have to go ahead and bring the chagig or your dal, because it's not obligation, but once you're ready with mafresh it, it's already like the dharm and the davis in that way, and now you can't use it anymore to fulfill your obligation of your chagig is your dal. So now the Gemara explains, my time with the what's the reason of the entema that he says, that the Chagiga Yadalit could only be eaten for a day and a night. Meaning, we understand there's other halachas regarding the, to fulfill it for Simcha or Chagiga, but what's the reason why he holds that the Shalmi Chagiga? Why? It's, it's a regular Shlam. A Shlam should be able to be eaten for two days and one night. Why is he saying the Chagiga Yadalit, that's what he agrees, it's two days and one night. Why is the, the, the Chagiga Yadalit, that which we bring to supplement the, the amount of meat they could have in the state the night, why is that for two days and one night? Says the Gemara Kedemasi Rab, like Rab told the Chiyah Beretz and Son Chiyah, the Pasik says in Shemais, Don't leave it over till the morning. Zevach Chag HaPesach. So the way it's usually translated is the, the slaughtering of the Chag HaPesach. It's talking about one carbon. No, but this, this is Zevach Chag HaPesach. He learns like this Zevach Chag, the carbon of this, of the Yom Tiv, the Chagiga, that's referring to the Chagiga. HaPesach is Kemashmai, is like the literal, the carbon Pesach. What's the Torah saying? Don't leave it out overnight. So you see that just like the carbon Pesach, you now leave it overnight till the morning of the 16th of, of the 15th of, of Nisan. So too, the carbon Chagiga is only eaten for that day and night, just like the carbon Pesach. So the Pasach is comparing the Chagiga to the carbon Pesach. But the Pesach you don't eat by day. Right. So that's still a difference. Right, right, right. That, that's a limitation. Torah it tells you that's the only age right now. But here they slaughter it at the same time by Erev, and then it's open until the next morning. Now, Ibaila, the following question. Le ben tame, according to Ben Tame, then again, he compares the Chagiga of Yudalin to the carbon Pesach. Nechel is asleep? Do you have to eat the Chagiga of Yudalin roasted? Or you have to eat Or do you not have to eat it roasted? In other words, Kiyak Shirach Malah Pesach, when does the Pasach compare the Chagiga of Yudalin to the carbon Pesach? It's Lina. Is like we say, loy sola, loy om, not to leave it overnight. I will sleep, but the carbon pesach, which has to be eaten roasted, that loy we're not comparing it to. I don't know, maybe no, there's no difference. We're comparing it for that too. It says the Gemara Toshim, I'm going to arrive from a mission in the last pedic in Arabi Pesach. We know Arnasach of the Manashtan is one way, but in, in, in Tamuric times, the Manashtan was a little bit different. Alay lazel, but then after from pesach, the cool lights all the heat, is in Gansin Gibraltar, is all roasted. Now, saying that it's all roasted, it sounds like even the carbon Pesach, uh, the carbon Chagiga. All the meat that we're eating tonight, we're eating not only carbon, but we're eating carbon Chagiga. It's all roasted. Lamar Chizli says, this is the opinion of Ben Tamer. I mean, obviously, that we're comparing it to the carbon Pesach is not only for leaving it overnight, that it could only be from one day or one night, it's also for the halacha of how it's roasted. Now, he bothered, they continue to ask. The Ben Tamer, according to Ben Tamer, Bom and Abakr, could the Chagiga come from cattle? Or in the bottom of the Maybe it could not come from cattle like the carbon pestle, which all been brought from sign, from sheep. <clears throat> Another question. Bottom in the caves? Could the carbon Chagiga be brought from female animals? Or in the bottom of the caves? Maybe it could not come from females like the carbon pestle. It could only be male. Bobas Shteishanim? Could the Chagiga be a two year old animal? Or in the Bobas Shteishanim? Or maybe it could not be a two year old animal like the carbon pestle. It has to be in its first year. In other words, as the Gemara explains the question. When does the Torah compare the Chagiga to the Karmah Pesach is Lamidi Dachila? Is things regarding you're eating it. So in the Torah it tells it regarding leaving it overnight, which is a commandment regarding how you eat it. So I can understand that we're extending that also to that it has to be roasted because it has to do with how you're eating it. 
but other things, not how you're eating it, which is just the, the gender of the animal, the age of the animal, it's not nothing to do with what you're eating. Maybe we're not comparing the Chagigi to the Karm Pesach. There's no difference. We're comparing the two of them for all the halachas. So the Gemara says, Toshmas, we go right in the following price. Chagiga Havoma Pesach. They come Chagiga, they come with the Pesach. Areke Pesach, it's a halacha like the Pesach. Vos Heis. So the price of Bama and Atzayin has to come from the flock. Vina Bama Boka. It can't come from the cattle. Bama and Zachar, Vina Bama and the cattle comes from the males, not from the females. Bama and Zachar, Vina 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 Bama and Zachar, can only be eaten by those who are counted on it, like the Korban Pesach. Says the Gemara, who is that we know that says this logic, that it's going to be eaten by day and the night, so we hear from this Braisa. You need to have all the halachas of Pesach that applied the Chagiga with that Hekish, we can infer from that that it's totally compared for all these categories of things, it's going to be compared for them all. Now, but we have one more question. He borrowed the following question. Le ben Tema, according to Ben Tema, that's comparing all the halachas of Chagiga to the Korban Pesach. Even the Bluya that has to be counted on, which is a unique halacha only the Korban Pesach, you have to be on that list. Yes, but Bishop Shvirus Etzem, is there a problem about breaking of the bones, which is a unique halacha of the Korban Pesach? Etzem lisish b'rubo, you can't break the bones of the animal. Or even but Bishop Shvirus Etzem, maybe does not have that halacha. Why are we asking specifically regarding this halacha? Because in in that passage we just said of boy boy is exclusionary terminology in it boy maybe saying in it and not in the chagiga because although it's compared in this we're saying it's not ideal maybe no high boy this in it is because it's coming to tell you by a kosher to come pesel but by the apostle and but not if it's an invalid then you don't have the issue of breaking the bones maybe that's who the asa maybe that's what the the drush is coming to tell us. So the Gemara ultimately does not answer this question, but the Gemara does go through a little bit of a complicated, uh, this is Talmudic style, we're going to go through a whole complicated halacha to try to prove, it's going to be lengthy till the halfway through Ahmed Bey's, just getting through this halacha to try to prove this answer as we'll show that the b'risa is ben tema, and we'll show you what he holds regarding the etzim lesish b'rubai as it applies to the Gemara Chagiga, but ultimately the Gemara will not resolve it. But the Gemara says, "Tosh must be a riot." So the Mishnah says, "Let's go." Sakin, a knife. The Mishnah will get to the Masechta, the next Masechta. A sakin, a knife. She nimtzes barba asa. Okay, you're walking on the street. You find a knife on the ground on end of Pesach, the fourteenth of Nisan. Says the Mishnah, "Shoichid ba." You could set your crop in Pesach miyad right away with this knife. What does that mean? So you don't have to table it, this knife that you found, because we could presume. That the owner had already tabled and already immersed it. In other words, if the knife was tummy, what the owner probably did was the day before Erev Pesach on the 30th of Nisan, he went and he tabled it. Why, why are we presuming that? Because when you table something, it has to have head of Shemesh, it has to have sundown. Now, if he wants to shift this Kram Pesach on the 14th of Nisan, he can't table it on Erev Pesach, it's too late. Because it's not going to be tar until nighttime. So if you find a knife on Erev Pesach that you could keep or you could use, whatever it is, you're allowed to use it right away, and you don't have to be concerned to table. Now, let's say you find it b'shlesha asa. You're walking the day before in Pesach, the third of Nisan, and you find a knife on the ground. Here says the Mishnah, it's different. Here, shaynu matl, you have to repeat, and you have to table it. In other words, even if maybe it's doubt, maybe the owner already did table it, it doesn't mean you have to repeat and table it out of doubt. Maybe the owner did not table it yet, because he still had time during that day, the 13th, to table it before it gets dark, because you'll have sundown the night of after the 13th, and then he'll be able to use it on the 14th. So if you find on the 13th, you have to table it out of doubt that it was not there. That's all regarding a shechita knife. But let's say he finds a koifetz. A koifetz is a large knife, which most people don't use for shech. They use it for chopping meat, like a cleaver, a meat cleaver, which is to break bones. It's this heavy uh, axe type of a knife. So the halach is different than the knife. Beim bezeh u beim bezeh. In other words, whether you find it on the 13th of Nisan, or even if you find it on the 14th of Nisan, Shoyna Matl. Here you do have to repeat, and even on the end of Pesach, you have to go and table it. Why? Because sins by the common Pesach, there's no halacha of breaking bones. So the, whoever has this meat cleaver doesn't need it on the 14th of Nisan until the following day when he's having regular meat on Pesach. Now, so you could say that the owner didn't table it. Because he had time to still table it on Erev Pesach to have Bein to use it on the next day on, 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 on Yom Tiv. 
Because it doesn't need it tonight. All we're eating is the carbon Pesach, and the carbon Pesach, I can't break bones anyway, I don't need the meat cleaver. So therefore, you have to, you have to table it again. You can't presume the same thing like a knife, where the guy's going to need it, just after the carbon Pesach. Says the Gemara, <laughs> okay, Mami, who is this Tana, who it sounds like that <clears throat> there's not going to be any breaking of bones on, of, of animals, on Er Pesach. If you say it's the Rabbanan that they do not compare the common Chagigit of the common Pesach, and there's no Isser of breaking bones of the animal of the Chagiga, wait a second. Maish no Sakin, why is a knife any different than Makful? Yet you tell me that the owner already tabled it the day before, and therefore right now when you find it on Er Pesach, you're presuming that it's tar that was already tabled, because, yeah, the Chazi, it's fit for the owners to use it on Er Pesach. The Pesach, with the common Pesach, the Shef. So therefore, of course, he tabled the day before, so that he could have had already sundown from before. Now, Rashi points an obvious question. Why are we not concerned that maybe this guy lost this knife a week ago? Then, of course, he wouldn't have tabled it. How are you presuming that if he found it today, that means to say he, he had already tabled it? So it says Rashi, no, it most definitely fell from him today. Because since we're talking about it's yomtiv time, there's so many people on the streets, it's not possible that something would have fell and it wasn't, wouldn't have been found in a short amount of time. So if you, if you found it today, it must have been that it was, wasn't lost such a long time ago from the owner and he had it on him and he just dropped it an hour ago. And then, of course, if he had it, that means he already tabled it the day before. It now, be that it fell from today, the 14th. No, no, it came from on the 14th. It didn't. I, right. You tell, yeah, you want to know it how to right. I guess that amount of time, I'm not, I'm not suspecting that it became to me. If it was a dummy knife, and then it already tabled it yesterday. Now, but then the question is, okay, so that's why you tell me by a knife, you don't have to tell it because we're presuming he's going to need it for Pesach. If it's not me, if, 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 the, if the mission was like the Rabbana, it wouldn't make sense, because then the Kaliber also, Chagiga. it's fit for the Chagiga to break the bones. And yes, you would have tabled it on the 13th of Nisan, because you want to use it for today when you're using the Kaliber Chagiga. So why, if someone finds it on the 14th of Nisan, would you have to say yes to repeat it? So obviously, it's not like the Rabbana. Say it aloud, the Bentemi. The Mishnah is like Bentim. Ushmamino, what we see from this is yes, but Mishnah Mishvida Sa'etzim. You see that there is a problem of breaking the bones of the Chagiga, and even in that, it's similar to the Karm Pesa. Because if it's not similar, so you're going to want it to break the bones of the Chagiga. You have to serve to the Kindalach, and you have to break the bones, and whatever it is, you're going to need to be clear. It's not, it's not taller. So you're going to need it for the Seder night when we're eating the Chagiga. That's the main meal, actually. The, the Karm Pesa, we're all getting just the Kazayas of that. So obviously you see that Bentema holds that even for Shemitah says we're comparing it. So it's more it's not a right. Loilom Rabban. We could say the Mishnah is like the Rabban. We're going to go we're talking about where Eric Pesach falls out. The Shabbos, on Shabbos. Oh, we said in our Mishnah that there's three times that the, you're not going to bring the Kamech HaGiga with the Pesach. And one of them was if it falls out on Shabbos, where it's not taken Shabbos. Oh, so that's why the owner didn't need it on the 14th of, 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 of Nisan. Because you're not bringing Chagiga that year. So there's not going to be any Shvida Se'etzim, not because Chagiga can't be broken bones. You could break the bone. You don't have a Kavna Chagiga. That's why it's not going to be any breaking of the bones to need a meat cleaver on the 14th of Nisan. So it's not a riot. It could be like the Rabbanu. There's no Chagiga. Maybe if there was a Chagiga, maybe Ben Tame would actually hold that you could break the bones. So the Gemara asks, however, on this answer. Again, it's a very Talmudic type of discussion over here. We're going to get. Well, I'm going to ask on that answer that we just said. You told me that you, the way you were miyashiv the answer by saying that it's not bentem, it's the rabbonim, and there's no breaking bones, and there's no need to meet clean, and if you have to repeat the, the tefill again on the point of Nisan, is because it's falling out on Shabbos. But wait a second. Well, I'm going to look at the end of that Mishnah in Shkall. It says, okay, but the Kalar law also leaves the Shabbos, and the fourth of the Nisan, of Erev Pesach falls out on Shabbos. Oh, then Sheikhid Bob, then you could go ahead. And chef with this meat cleaver, mia, right away. And there, then you wouldn't have to table. Meaning, although that maybe the owners had a knife to shech with, and this meat cleaver was only for breaking of the bones, and today there's no breaking of the bones on Shabbos, even so, that's what Mishnah is coming to tell us, that since you need it for Yom Tiv, which is after Shabbos, because you get Ed of, Shab- Ed of Yom Tiv on, is, is Shabbos, so you already tabled it from before Shabbos, because on Shabbos you can't table it. As the Gemara says in the Sechus Beit, the Yisayim Beit, when Yom Tov falls out on Sunday, everyone has to table everything from before Shabbos, because you can't table it. It's, 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 it's like Masakin Mama. It's Mavzikim Masakin. So in that case, 
you could trust it right away. You could use the mikvah right away on the fourth of Nisan. And so too, if let's say you find the knife on 15th of Nisan, on Yom Tov itself, there also a sheikhid ba, you could shech your shlamim with it miyad right away, because most definitely owners had tabled it from before Yom Tov. You're not tabling on Yom Tov itself. Also, another case, this is all agav, so to speak, it's just because we're quoting that whole Sefer the Mishnah, and they're all similar types of cases. If you find the meat cleaver tied, attached to the knife, then then the meat will have the same halacha like the knife. Meaning, even if you're going to find it on the 14th of Nisan, on a weekday, which we had said in the Daisha, and then you have to tell it again, here you could, you could, you could check with it, you could slaughter with it right away. Because most definitely the meat cleaver was tabled with the knife on the 13th of Nisan, because it's tied onto it. And the knife, you had to have tabled because you needed to shech to come best. So it's attached to it, so then you can presume that the guy already tabled the meat cleaver with it. Okay, but one thing is, says the Gemara, Mechlal, the inference is, the Reisha, the Reisha, which we had previously quoted, that said regarding the meat cleaver, bein mezeh, bein mezeh, whether you find it on the 13th of Nisan or the 14th of Nisan, shayinu matal, you have to repeat and table it again, it must be lav b'shavah, says it must be that it's not on Shabbos. Because if not, you can have a difficulty the ratio to the Sefer. On Shabbos, that the Sefer says that you don't have to table it. And the ratio says you do have to table it. So even so, we see that if it falls on the weekday, that you, when there's no, uh, when there's no Shemitah Satsamis, obviously you see you're not allowed to break bones in the Chagiga of the, of, of, of the Chagiga's Yadal, of us, according to Ben Tema, because you can't give the answer that you gave. You were telling me, oh, it's not Nesel Ben Tema, I can tell you that Allah is when there's no chagig coming because it's Shabbos. What do you mean? Shabbos? Then you have to go ahead and table it? What do you mean? Look at the Savior of the Mishnah. The Mishnah says when, when it falls out on Shabbos, then actually then, then you don't have to table it. So, so there would be a contradiction if you would say that it's Shabbos. Obviously, it's during the weekday. And during the weekday, we're back to the question. So what is it like? Why is why, why you why you not presuming that it was table? According to the Abanon, you, you needed to break the bones of the Giga. Obviously, the Ben Tema holds that it's just like Shabbos, and you, uh, it's just like the Kompesa, and you cannot use it to break bones. Says Gemara, no, it's not a riot. That like I tell you, Shabbat, as we didn't talk about it, it didn't be like the Abanon. It can't, there's three cases, if you remember, that we could, we could say it, that there's no Chagiga. Again, the whole thing we're trying to say, why, why are you not needing the meat cleaver? Why, why are you saying that the guy didn't table it on the 13th? Why are you saying he's, you have to repeat and table it on the 14th because you got the sun now? I needed to break bones tonight. This Chagiga, so we wanted to say there's no Chagiga because Shabbos. No, we couldn't say that ants of no Chagiga and Shabbos because that contradicts the Sefer that says that then you actually wouldn't have to title it. No, we're saying a different answer. There's three criterion that when you're not going to bring a Chagiga. Shabbat b'merubah. This is a, a, a small, this is a, um, a small Chabura that the Karm Pesach is merubah for them. There's so much meat. And that's one of the three cases that you're not going to bring a Karm Chagiga. So then, but there's no raya that you cannot break the bones of the chagiga. Maybe you could but break. So then you could break the I need the meat cleaver. Why are you saying I didn't table it? No, because no one's bringing chagiga. Because there's so much meat to go around. That's, that's, you don't bring a chagiga in that case. But then the Gemara says, wait a second. And who's the Menor Yadi? How do the owners know on the 13th of Nisan, the day before Erev Pesach, that he's going to have a very small chabura? Every single moment, people are, you know, you see the, the, the you know, in today's day and age with, so with, uh, with uh, the internet, you can see like, click, 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 you see the numbers going up, going up, going up, going up. But in the common Pesach, the, he doesn't know how many people are going to join his, his group. And, and people are constantly going off one group, going on another group, sounds like chat, and, and, and going on, going on, going on. And, and, and he doesn't know if he's got a small group or a large group at the end of the day. He turns out he's left with, with 10 people, right? He could have been a group of 100 people. So, so what are you telling me? Uh, he, he should have tabled his cleaver <coughs> on the 13th of Nisan, because he might be a Kamachagiga, and he's going to have to go ahead and he's going to need it to break bones. So how are you telling me that, you're telling me that, uh, he, he, that he, the reason why he didn't table the meat cleaver, which he, if he needed, he would have done on the 13th of Nisan, because he had a small Chabur. How does he know that he has a small Chabur? He doesn't know. People are still coming, coming, go, oh, can I join, can I join, can I join? The, the let's, the, those, those, those lazy ones, the fall, and they come, they said, oh, I forgot, oh, I was supposed to be my aunt, my uncle, whatever this that. So how does he know? So obviously, that no, because you're not allowed to break bones. So the man says, no, we're getting to the third variable. Remember, we said three cases, the Yenak Men Chagiga. The Shabbos, the Merubah, and the Tum. So now we're going to, we, we rejected the Shabbos one, 
rejected the Merubah one, now we're going to the, oh, Bela Shabbat We're talking about where the majority of the Jewish people are Tami. Now, the Mishnah taught when the Kavim Pesach comes instead of Tumah, then you don't bring a Kavim Chagiga with it. So that's how we know there's not going to be a Chagiga. Now, wait a second, Rashi just addressed the question. If you're telling me that the Klal Yisrael, the Tzibur are so this guy who's finding it, what is he tabling for? Well, all Tami. No, for Rashi, the guy who found it is Tami. Now, although even the Tahirim are going to do the Kavim Pesach with the Tzibur in the state of Tumah, but still he's tabling it so that he can bring bones of the Chagigis Chamisha Asr, which does not come in the state of Tama, although maybe the rest of Kali Sol is Tami, but he's not, he's Tara, and he's going to be the Chagigi Chamisha Asr, and it has to be Tara, so that's why we're talking about him tabling things. But again, he has to table on the Father Nisan, because we could presume that the guy didn't, yeah, maybe the Chagigi Chamisha Asr, you could, you could break bones. So then why doesn't he need a cleaver for the Chagigi? Well, there's no Chagigi. Why is no Chagigi? Oh, because Kali Sol is Tami. Kali Sol is Tami, so then. You don't need the mikla because you can't bring the chagig anyway. So then why is he traveling it? This, this guy who found it. Oh, for the chagig is chamisa asa. That's for the next day. But again, he has overnight to be able to have it overnight. And therefore, it wasn't tabled. No. So then the Gemara says, wait a second. Safe, safe. At the end of the day, the same question applies. Menoyadi. How do the owners know on the 13th of Nisan? Again, which is the day when you have to table stuff. If you want to use it for the Seder night, it's got to be t- for the for the. Arab Pesach, not to say the night, meaning by Be'erev, on the afternoon of the fourth of Nisan, how does the owner know on the 13th, when he's traveling his nights, that most of the Jewish people are going to be Tommy? How does he know that they are all, that the majority is going to be Tommy to know that he's not going to need the meat clip? So he must says, I'll tell you how, the Miss Nasi, the, the, the leader of the Jewish people, the king passed away, and there's a mitzvah of every single Jew to be involved in that Leviah, and therefore the old one will become Tommy. So that's how he knows that he's going to be Tommy, that Klaus is going to be Tommy, and therefore he doesn't have a need for the Mikli, because when it comes to the state of Dumas, there's no Kama Chagiga. So he must have waited a second. The Mist Nasi Enes, when exactly did this king die? He lived the Mist B'Shlesha Asr, if the king died on the 13th of Nis, when everyone's on the way to the Mikvah, the table there, Kalim, because you got to have Torah and Kalim the next day, it has to go through Sunday. Then Sakin Lama lead the Mikvah. Wait a second. Then why does the owner need to table his naive? It's going to become Tommy anyway. All becoming tummy. So the one who finds the knife, if he's tar, why did you tell me that when he finds the knife, you could presume that the knife is tar, and therefore he could go ahead and check the shamecha gigan yamta with that knife without tabling? What do you mean? Why is the knife then any different? You told me the knife, the guy for sure tabled on the 13th of Nisan because he needs it for the common vessel. Because hey, a knife you're also not tabling it, it's going to be tummy anyway. Oh, but Ella, okay, see, so right. So it's not too much that the Nasi died on the 13th of Nisan. The Misbah Ba Asr. The Nasi died on the 14th of Nisan. And when they went to table their vessels on the 13th of Nisan, they still felt like they needed it for Arab Pesach. They didn't know that they're going to bring the Kavim Pesach in the state of Tumor. Huh. And then we're back to the other question. Then the Kaifitz, the cleaver, then you would have also tabled it for the breaking of the bones of the Chagigas, Chagigas, uh, Chagigas Yodalid. So why is it in the night that he's telling me that he's tabling? Because you're saying that the owner traveled it the day before because he didn't know that Klai was going to be Tomei. So why is the Mikvim any different that we don't say that the owner traveled it from the day before and that you have to go out and travel it a second time? Okay, so it's like an interesting answer to what says. No, we need it in the case of the Nasi Geisis Beshlei Shas. The, the Nasi was a Geisis who's in the throes of death. He's mamish, he's touch and go, touch and go, because as you go on the 13th of Nisi. Oh, so what's the shot? Like this. Sakin regarding the knife, the chad sveik, uh, interesting. There's one suffering, there's one element of doubt regarding the knife. You could say, maybe the Nasi is going to die. Okay, and Kleist is going to do the common pass on the state of Tumah. Now, because of this doubt, he's not going to hold back from tabling the knife. And Matvala, he's going to table it. You know why? He's concerned the Nasi might not die. If he doesn't die, the common pass would not tell me. You have to do it in the state of time. My knife. Here I go. I have to borrow a knife again. I don't have a knife to shut my cup vessel. So he's going to tighten it. But Kaifit, but regarding the meat cleaver, the Trey Sveiki, he has two doubts. Ah, but two doubts. So it's not so Shriya. So Loi Matvala, he's not going to table his meat cleaver. And therefore that removes it from, it, from his tightening it. Why? What's the two doubts? Maybe the Nasi is going to die and Kalai is going to be And again, you can't bring a Kamachagiga to have a meat cleaver to chop the bone when Kalai is tummy. So 
not on the 14th of Nisan, not the 15th of Nisan, there's not going to be any Chagigas being brought. Now, and even if he doesn't die, I might not need the Chagigas Yudalit because I'm going to have a small Chabura, and it's going to be a Pesach Ben we're going to have tons of common Pesach meat. <laughs> I'm not going to have room to, to, to eat it. Now, I, what with the Chagigas Chamisha Asa? After that, he has enough time to table on the next day on Yudalit. So therefore, we cannot presume that the only table on the 13th of Nisan. So therefore, there's no Raya that this, that this Mishnah and Shkolem was like Ben Tema to say that obviously you're not allowed to break bones, and that's why you cannot presume that the cleaver was tabled on the 13th of Nisan, because you could say it's like the Rabbana. And it was like the Rabbana, so what do you mean? Why would you not say that he tabled the, the meat cleaver to have it to break the bones? I'll tell you why. There's no Chagigi that year. Why is no Chagigi that year? Not because Shabbos, we rejected that interpretation. Not because of, 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 of Merubu, because we rejected that interpretation too. It's because of Tum. Plus haste. The Nasi was a Gaisis on the 13th of Nisan. So, yes, when you find a knife on the 14th of Nisan, you can presume that the guy tabled it because there was only one doubt. But the meat cleaver, there's two doubts, you can presume that he didn't table it, and therefore you have to table it. And that's the case that the Mishnah is talking about. And never it could be like the Rabbanan, and there is not a Raya to Ben Tema. So ultimately, that question that we had asked regarding does this halach of comparing of, of the Chagiga to the Karm Pesach of Shvir Se'etzin, does that apply? So that question remains unresolved. Now we continue. A third opinion regarding the Chagigas Yudal. It says the Gemara Tanya Lina Braisa. Yehuda ben der Toy. Pidish, here it doesn't mean he explained. It means that he removed himself and he separated himself from the sages. Who ben der Soi ben Him and the son der Soi. And the reason is because, like in our mission, the Chacham said that the Chagigas Yudal is not the Shabbos. So he went and he went on his own, and he went and he sat in the south, far from Yerushalayim, so that he shouldn't be able to be Euler Regal, because if he's Euler Regal, he's going to be obligated in the Kavim Pesach and the Kavim Chagig, because he held that the Chagig is Yudal is a Chayim, was an obligation, even in Merubah, even if there's a large Chabura, even if there's a, a, a large quantity of Kavim Pesach to eat in a small Chabura, still you have to bring a Chagig is Yudal. And Omer he says, and Yehuda, we all be able to have the Yisrael of El Yonah is going to come and tell the Jewish people, "Nei malich chagag tem chagiga b'Shabbos." Why didn't you bring the chagigas Yudal in Shabbos? Which again, in our mission, we said is one of the three cases we're not going to bring it because not a chayva. It's only so that we should be eat to come Pesach al chayva. Mahi neimul. What are they going to tell Tel Yom Nabi? Says to Mahani. Says, "I wonder." It sounds like you know, like the people on the blogs, you know, say, "I wonder." The two great ones of the generation, Shmaim Avtalian is. Saying his, his day is on the Gedolim, Shen Chacham Gedolim, and Hashem Gedolim, the great sages, the great Tarshanim. The law of the Israel doesn't tell the Jewish people, Chagiga Dechas Hashabbos? Chagiga Dechas Hashabbos? They don't say this? I, I can't be here. I'm going away, I'm doing. I'm opening up my own uh, <laughs> camp, we're going far away, I don't want to be nearby that I have to be on the day. Now, Amir Rab, Rab says, My time at Bender Sai, what's the reason of Bender Sai? Because the Chesed says the passing in the book, is a vach to Pesach for Shemal Kechem. You should slaughter the common Pesach. To Hashem, your God. And it says, so in the Bakr, flock and cattle. Now the question is, Bakr, cattle, that's cows, and those are big animals. Ba'alei in Pesach, Elam and Akvazim Neizim. Kavim Pesach only comes from the lambs and the goat. Those are, those are tzayim. There's no Bakr, Kavim Pesach. And rather, tzayim, that's the Rashid Zeh Pesach, the Kavim Pesach. Pesach. Bakr, the cattle, Zuch HaGiga, the first to the Kavim HaGiga. And by Amr Rahman, what's the Torah telling you? Vizavach the Pesach, that you should slaughter the, on Pesach, meaning no matter if it's Shabbos or whatever, it has the same halachs like the Kavim Pesach. And therefore, of course, you should do it on Shabbos. Amr <coughs> Rashi says, Banan, and us, time of the Perushim, Nekim, and Nefesh, we have to go ahead and start explaining the Pesukim according to those who separate themselves from the sages, and we have to explain how they understand the Pesach. I have to be busy talking as Zan the Mishigas, and I have to go and touch up the Pesukim, what he thinks. I don't mean that he's a Mishagas, we know he could have been a, a big saint. I'm just saying the idea is, so we have to explain it. And the Rabbi Kra, no, the Pasuk is looked through the opposite, because Rabbi Nachman does. Don't tell me like Rabbi Nachman, because again, we disagree, we don't hold it, it's, it's an obligation. It's not compared to the Karm Pesach, in that way. Now Rabbi Nachman, Rabbi Rabbi, he says, Menayin l'moysir Pesach. How do we know the leftovers of the Pesach, meaning whether you separated Karm Pesach and they got lost, and you got atoned with another animal, and then you found the original one, or whether if you designated mummies, let's say, for the Karm Pesach, and it turns out that you, the, sh the price of sheep went down and you had leftovers from the money. But be that as it may, any leftovers you have from the Pesach, Shekhar Shlamim, that those funds or those animals are sacrificed to the Karmah Shlamim 
on, let's say, on, on Pesach or after the Yom Tov, whenever it is that you want to bring it. Shemek says in the Pasuk, Mizabach the Pesach, the Shemek can't say in the book. It brings the same Pasuk, but interprets it differently. You'll slaughter the Korban Pesach for Hashem you got, so in Shibu Baka and Kev. Now, as we said, Chi Pesach and Baka Ba, the Pesach come from the Kev, but they didn't boil them in a club and eat them. It comes from, from, from sheep and from goats. Ella rather, from, from lambs and goats. Ella rather, Maisida Pesach is referring to the left of the Pesach. You hate the dog, but it should be for something Abom and that's Abom that comes from the sheep and from the cattle, which is the Korban Shlom, which is Kasher from Old Sain and Old Baka, Zach and the Kemu. And that's what the Pesach is coming to tell you that the Pesach is then subsequently brought as a Shlom. But then the Gemara asks, yeah, but Rabbanon, who disagree with, with Ben Dur Sali, my time with Dachar Shabbos. Yeah, it's a good question. Why is it not Dachar Shabbos? Even the Chagig is Chamisha Asa. Forget about the Chagig is Yudalim. Even the Chagig is Chamisha Asa, Havadi Karbet Zibunu. It's most definitely a, 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 a carbon that the Tzibur brings, which is like what's called Asibu Kanuf. It comes with the gathering of the Jewish people, like the Karbet Pesach, and it has a set time. Usually those types of Karbanas you do on Shabbos. So I'm going to be alone. Yudim Safi says, no, because you're right. It's a good question. But Amakra, the Pasuk says, and this is by the Yom Tov of Sukkot, which the, you could supplement your Chagiga for all the eight days of Sukkot. It says in the Pasuk, you're going to celebrate this Kama Chagiga for, for, on the Yom Tov for Hashem, Shiva Siyom Hashem is seven days a year. Now the problem is, Shiva, seven days? Sukkot is not seven days. You could bring your Chagiga, Shemayin Habit, eight days. And the Rabbi says, what you infer from the Pasuk is, from here you see, the Chagiga, Shein Adeich HaShabbos. Obviously not Tehra Shabbos, so you're never going to have eight days to bring the Chagig, because one of the days is going to be at least Shabbos. So that's what you learn from the Pasuk, in seven days to tell you that it's not going to be brought on Shabbos. You have a special Pasuk telling you it's not done on Shabbos. Now, on this, Kiyasa Rav, when Robin came to bubble, he says, a mark of the Rabbi, he says, I said in front of my teacher the following question. Wait a second. Pa'amim, at times, she had the Maitzah L'Shisha. Sometimes it could only be six days that you could bring the Karma Chagig. If the first day of Yom Tov on Shabbos, which comes at the Shemini Atzeres, is also on Shabbos, you only have six days, how can you say seven days? If you say you can't bring on Shabbos, how are you saying seven days? So I'm going to buy a buy, says, Oven Tichla, which means Oven the bereaved one, I mean, he buried his children, so he was bereft of his children. He's going to say such a thing, a, a shayla, a question that's such not a, a, a good question, a appropriate question. He says, the Torah is telling you, you can never have eight days. So therefore it says seven days. But Shiva, Isa, Rebbe, Shalom, seven, you have most years. So you're going to ask me, Akasha, is it going to come out and you only have six days? It's not Akasha. The, the, it, what we see is that seven days can never have eight days. So to summarize, there are three opinions regarding what we said of Chagigas Abba Asa, which we mentioned in the Mishnah, which is what the Chagigas Abba Asa, the Chagigas Abba Asa, the that comes with the Karma Pesach. You have the opinion of the Chachamim, which Chagigas Sidal is not a Chagigas, and if it's not Dei Chashabas, and like we said in our Mishnah, they hold that it's that it's uh, it's eaten for two days and one night. Then we had Ben Tame, which we said in the Gemara is not like our Mishnah. He agrees that Chagig Zidal is not a chayva and never is not Dei Chashabas, but he holds only eaten for a day and a night because he compares it to that of the Karma Pesach. Then we had Yehuda Ben Tesoi, who said that the Chagig Zidal is a chayva, and never is Dei Chashabas, and also therefore it's it's also only eaten for a day and a night. So we're discussing today's daf. In Pesachim, Daf Ein, he said that our Mishnah is not like Ben Tema, which our Mishnah says Chagig is for two days, and he says only for a day and a night. Where does he know this from? Because the Pasuk says Zevach Chag HaPesach. He says Zevach Chag refers to the Chagig, and HaPesach refers to the Karben Pesach. Then, uh, he, the, uh, he compare his comparison, he says not just for Lina, it's for Tzli, it's for being a year old, it's for being a male, but ultimately, we didn't have a raya for regarding Allah of breaking the bones, meaning we had brought in a Mishnah in Shkolem, which said that the knife is different than the cleaver, and it's not necessarily because of Bentema, because of that there's no breaking of the bones on the Seder night, but yet you're going to have to have the knife, and therefore that would be the difference if you're going to presume if you tell or not. No, it could be like the Rabbanan, but we're talking about where Klau Yisrael is, 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 is tummy. But it was a glacis, and therefore by a knife, which was one suffix, you're going to table it. And by two is by the kaifits, you're not going to table it. And therefore, that's the explanation of that Mishnah, and therefore, not necessarily like Ben Tame. Then, we have a machlek is if Chagigas Dei Chashabas or not, which really is dependent on how you interpret the Pasuk of the Pesach as comes from Tzayn Bakr, which are not from Bakr. Either that's referring to the Chagiga. So you see that it has the same halacha like the Karban Pesach, and therefore, it's a, it's a Chiyiv, and therefore, it's going to be Dei Shabbos. Or you say, no, that Bakr is referring to the Maisra Pesach. Which comes from something that comes from Tzayin Baka, which is the Shlamim, and there has no right to Chagiga being Teichiyah. And according to Rabban, why actually is it not Teichiyah Shabbos? I had to come and see 
If a special person says Shemes Yomim, which comes in only seven days and not eight days, although the Yomim is eight days and you can bring the Chagiga for eight days, but not, you can't bring for all eight days, it's only be seven days because it's not Dei Shabbat. Thank you, man. Turn it down, post.